So we've prettied it up a little bit by putting another layer of tape on it. Yeah, it can be prettier. What we're going to do now is show you what happens with the stick when you're wearing a gauntlet. Like I said before, this handle was designed for my bare hand, maybe with a glove. This is my gauntlet. Yes, it's kind of like a glove, but it's got all this big hunks of plastic on it, and it changes how your hand fits on the handle. This is actually fairly comfortable, but you'll note that if I hold it this way, I'm running into a problem where I'm going to have a little bit of fight here. If I hold it this way, it's much more comfortable, except my little strap here is getting in the way. And I'll probably end up holding it this way. Now, if I hold it the other way, I get inch and a quarter extra reach depth-wise. Not enough to make it worth doing. This way, it'll hold snug in my hand. Um, the only problem is that I've actually tried this on the Pell, and what happens is when something this massive hits a resisting object, any mass that's behind it wants to push forward, and it will find the easiest way to do so. So, if I hit directly like this, what's going to happen is that the mass will either push this way or that way to continue forward. What that means is that you get torsion on your grip. And the way to fix that is to make your grip longer. Because as you can see, this is rounded really nicely for my hand, but because it's rounded, it allows the handle to rotate much easier than I want it to. Because I don't want to have to hit someone like this, have it bounce off, and then hit someone like this. Because, well, that's not edge on, and that's not what we do. We want to hit edge on. So in order to change that, I need to make my grip a little bit taller. I don't want to make it exceptionally wider. So what I'm going to do is put a thin strip of leather on both sides, tape it down real tight, and um, probably use the fabric tape to do that.